Hello and welcome to my video. Mr.net is here today. I am going to explain the prototype pattern. It is one pattern of the Gang of Four. And we use this pattern to clone an object instance at runtime so easily as possible. If we look into the UML diagram, we see an interface called iProduct and this interface is implemented by two objects, concrete product underline one and concrete product underline two. This interface provides a method and also this method is implemented in my concrete product. And to implement the prototype pattern, we implement an interface, I call this interface iPrototype, that provides a method clone. So my concrete product underline 2 implements this prototype interface and it also provides the method clone. And with this method, I can clone an instance at runtime. And I want to explain it in C sharp. If we look into the source code, I create firstly my interface called iProduct and this product offers me a method from type return type void. The name is method and then I implement two classes, the concrete product underline one which implements the i product sorry so I copy this class and create a concrete product too which also implements the i product interface and this method writes to the console console.brightline the hash code of the current of the current instance i need this to compare the object later in in my explanation well and to implement the prototype pattern I create an interface called the iPrototype and this prototype interface provides a method with a return type from type object and the method name is clone and now I have to implement from an object this interface so that I as a client now I can create a copy of the instance and I implement this interface in my concrete product too I prototype so now I have here my method public object clone and this method returns me have to return a copy of the current instance and in C sharp we can use because this the class is an object and the object provide a protected method and this is the method memberwise clone so this method returns a copy of the current instance from type object so but I want to return my concrete product too. Now I implement a value um, a public int value and I set this value in the constructor of my concrete product to value value and 
this value is my argument value. The constructor have to be public. Well, and the method returns me the hash value from this instance to copy to compare the instances and I also want the value value fine so I use this also in my concrete product one And now I create here my two instances. First instance is from concrete product two. As a value, I take the number 10 and then I create a concrete product one. This is a new concrete product one. After that, I call the method from the concrete product one and the method from the concrete product too. So I save the program. So I save the script and start the program. And we see the concrete product one has this hash value and the concrete product two has a other hash value. So this are two different instances and now console dot right line I create from my concrete product 2 which implements the I prototype interface a copy I only need to call the clone method. This method returns me a object. So we see that I return here a concrete I cast the return type from object to a concrete product too, but the interface declares that the return type is an object, so I have to cut this here and have to cast my object to a concrete product too. And now I can call from the copy my method. So I save the program and I start the program and we see this copy here has an other hash value so it is a, another instance now I can change from my concrete product to the value So I save the script and start the program. Oh, I forgot to call the method of my concrete product too. And we see I can change the value of my concrete product too, which is the original and the copy is still number 10. So it is an independently copy because, because the integer is a value type. For example, I create a, a reference type. 
so I implement a class I call it the sub object and this object has also a value public sub value from type integer and I also need a public constructor to set the sub value this sub value is sub value well and my concrete product 2 contains an instance of a sub object and this sub object will be set in the constructor so as an argument the concrete product gets a sub object and this dot sub object is the given sub object from the argument and my method has to return the the hash from sub object so that I can compare it a little bit better sub object get hash code and also I return the value of sub object object you will see it in few seconds why I do this sub objects dot sub value well I save the script and I start the program okay I have built errors because I have to set here a new sub object with the value 100 I save the script and start the program and now we see I create here a copy and the hash of the sub object is the same this is the sub object from the original and this is the sub object from the copy Be this is because it is a reference type and if you call the the member wise clone method from an object you clone or you copy the value types like an integer but the reference the reference objects or the references are still the same so we have to implement here this issue a little bit a little bit another way for example so i have here a concrete product too and i call it the copy this method returns me an object so i cast it to a concrete product too and from the copy I say sub object is a new sub object and with the keyword new I create a new instance and the value is the same value of my original sub object because I create with the clone method a copy so sub object dot sub value and this method has to return the copy so I save my program and I start the program and we see that the sub object has a own hash value so it is a own instance and it is not the same instance than before this is because if I don't do that here and for example I change here in my concrete product to the sub object from the sub object the value to 10,000 and start the program 
you will see that also the value from my copy sub object because because it is the same will be changed and if I create a new sub object and I start the program we see I can change from the sub object the, the value and the value from this from the new sub object is in independently from the first sub object so this is what you have to keep in mind when you implement a uh, prototype pattern in C sharp you can use the member wise clone method but keep in mind that the references are still the same okay that's the prototype pattern I hope I explained it well for you if you like my video please subscribe my channel and hopefully I see you in the next video. Bye!